Okay, welcome to the second video of the year. Okay, very quickly, we're looking at midpoints of a line. Now, I'll be showing you the proof of how to get the midpoint of a line before giving you a question on that midpoint of a line. You know, okay, between two points in that case then. Now, we're told that given that M of X comma Y, that's point M, is the midpoint of the line joining what? P, which is X1 comma Y1 and Q, which is what x2 comma y2 together now how do we get our formula you know for x and for y respectively if these are the midpoints of a line now let me make mine kind of simpler now assuming looking at this line say this is the midpoint and then assuming looking at this line say this is the midpoint so what do we have for this line, this is what the horizontal, which is x. So I can call this x, that's big X, the midpoint of what? X. Now I can call this also what? Y, the midpoint of what? Y. Now in that case, let's join it what? Let's join it together. So, okay, let's do it such that um, they will both fall on this guy here. So let's assume that this is where my x is. And this is where my y is. Okay, so I have this as what? Y. And I have this as what? My X. So, now you might ask why. Why did I make it join this line? So that we can have a perfect midpoint along all, you know, all sides. As simple as that. So, I didn't draw a perfect triangle and then, yes, like so. So, so that we can have what? The same midpoint at all what? All sides. That is the reason why I have to try to touch this triangle at this point and this point. Okay, so that said, let's now get our formula. Now, remember, this is x1, y1. This is what x2, y2. In literal form, it means this is where my x2 is. x1 is here. Also, this is where my what? Uh, my y2 is. And my what? y1 is where? Here. If you are very familiar with graphs. Or slopes so it means that if this is my x2 this is my x1 x is in between the distance from here to here becomes what x2 minus x y because this is at the extreme this is in the middle the distance from here to here is what x minus what x1 because this is at, is at the extreme this is where at the beginning so this point here is this line here is what x minus what x1 very good now that's for x for y now what do we have if this is y this is y what does that imply it means this is y2 this is what y1 same case goes so it means that if this is what y2 and this is y the distance here becomes what what does that become y2 minus what y minus y in that case big y and if this is y and this is y1 it means that this becomes what y minus what y one now someone should say finally now finally what happens then it means that since i already took this place as my midpoint you know i can do this next step in two different ways first i can say this okay now at this point what does this become this is the same thing as this x2 minus x minus x i mean and then um, this is what y minus what y one what am I trying to do? I'm trying to derive the formula. Now, one method is by saying, since this is equals to this, this is equals to this, automatically, this will be equals to what? This. Okay, so very good. Now, this is 2. This must be 2. Why? Because they are now equal. Since this is 1, this must also be what? 1. Because what? They are now equal. Do we understand? Now, in this uh or for this case now what can we now say we can say that this triangle here let me draw it out is the same thing as what this triangle up here so what do we mean that is three two one three two one they are the same thing right it means they are congruent now using congruent triangles what does that imply it means this must be you know this must be equal to this this must be equal to this and this must be equal to what? This. 
which you can see that is 332211. Now from here, let's finalize. I have x minus x1, which says equals to what? Equals to this, right? Or equals to this. Is that right? That's x2 what? Minus what? X. Now, let's look at it again. I said this triangle is the same thing as what? This triangle. So it means this must be equals to this. Quite all right. So x minus x1 equals to what? X minus what? X. What do we now from there? We have that this comes here becomes what? X. That's 2x equals x2 plus what? X1. Finally, my x I'm looking for becomes what? X1 plus X2 all over 2. Or X2 plus X1 over what? 2. So this is how we got the formula for midpoint of X. Now for Y, the same thing goes. As far as this is equal to this, this is this, this is this. So this is Y, this is Y. So let's see that. This is what? Y minus Y1. I'll say it's equal to what? This guy, which is what? Y2 minus Y. Now, at this point, what do we have? This comes here becomes what? 2y equals what? y2 minus what? y1. I mean, plus y1. Finally, y now becomes what? y1 plus what? y2 all over 2. And that gives me the midpoint for what? For y. Now, or, since I have said that from the beginning, let's assume that this place is the midpoint of x, and this is the midpoint of y, and we've added all these sides. What can I now say? I can now say what this is equal to this and this is equal to this, which is still the same thing. You know, instead of putting all these lines, 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 and so on, whichever. And that's how we get the formula. Now, from here, let's solve a question. As we want to find the coordinates of M, which is the midpoint, you know, of two points, see, my P is what? Minus 1,4. And um, my Q is 5,2. Minus 2. What do I do to solve this question there? Now, apply my formula. X is equals to what? X1 plus X2 over 2. And what? Y is equals to what? Y1 plus what? Y2 over 2. These are the formulas for my midpoints. And I'm going to solve this question to get my answer. It implies that X now becomes minus 1 plus... That's, um, you know, that's X1. X is what? 5. Remember, X1, Y1 x2 y2 you can put it up there to remember implies that what this is x1 minus 1 plus what 5 over what 2 and um, for y we have what y1 plus y2 which is what 4 plus what's y2 minus 2 all over what all over 2 and finally what do we have x becomes what minus 1 plus 4 means i'm only one i have 5 so I'm going to have 4 remaining over 2. And um, for y, 4, now this is plus times minus. That's minus. So 4 minus 2 here is what? 2 all over what? 2. Finally, I can say my x is equals to what? 2 and what? y is equals to what? 1. Now, therefore, midpoint m, which is x, y, becomes what? m, which is what? 2, what? 1. As simple as what that.